Cool, so before we jump into our normal DML stuff today, I wanted to pose a quick question to you. What do you think is the rarest dragon in DML? So I'm going to go through some contenders today, but um, some of these dragons have only ever been available once, ever. And I mean, I'm waiting on some of these dragons to return at some point or another. But the first ones that I wanted to talk about were some of the gem spending event only dragons. So the first one we've got here is the, the crash test dragon, I guess you could call him. So he was in a gem spending event. Only the top five players that spent the most amount of gems could get a hold of him. And that's the only time that this dragon has ever come out. And then a similar situation with the student dragon. So again, a gem spending frenzy event. Except the student dragon, or oh, this event, came out much, much earlier than a lot of the other dragons. I think it was like mid-2015 when this event came about. So the student dragon, I feel, is probably one of the rarest dragons in the game, personally. Let me know if you have him. If you do, you know, send some screenshots in the Discord server and everyone will be like, whoa. Well, you have been playing for a long time. And then the final one about the gem spending events I wanted to mention was one of my favourites, which is the School Bus Dragon. Again, another gem spending event, only the top five players for that leaderboard or bracket could actually get him. And again, it is a gem spending event, so you had to spend a lot of gems to unlock this dragon, because whenever a new dragon comes out, of course people spend a ton of money trying to get them. So, this school bus, this student, and the crash test dragon all together were some really difficult dragons, or not necessarily difficult, but very rare dragons to get. On the other hand, this castle dragon, you know, I've talked about him a few times, the castle dragon is considered by a lot of people to be another one of the rarest dragons in the game because he was available during the original castle event. Uh, some people say still to this day it was the hardest castle event by far due to the element restrictions and the fact that no one had any idea how the castle events worked. I did manage to get him myself. Very, very stressful event to say the least, but I think it's probably one of the dragons that I'm most... I guess, proud of, air quotes, although, you know, I have so many dragons now, and so many random ones, and bugged dragons, and, like, our duplicate firefly dragons that we got out of that random bug that happened, so, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff that's happened in DML, there probably aren't many people in the world that have two firefly dragons, for instance, but, Overall, just dragons that have only ever appeared in a singular event are probably pretty rare as well. Uh, I'm sure the Zeus and the Chang dragons are going to get more, or going to be considered rarer as time goes by as well. I remember when the Dice dragon was also considered to be an extremely rare dragon because of that original castle event. But he's come out in a couple of events in like the last year or so. So he's sort of... You know, people don't care about him quite as much anymore, but, you know, I've, I've gotten some cool dragons over time. I have been here since the game's beginning, so, you know, the Gentleman Dragon hasn't really come around too many times, for instance. And, you know, overall, we got a nice little collection of stuff going. You know, 336 dragons hatched. We got a lot of stuff in DML overall, but... You know, let me know what some of your rare dragons are as well. I'm very curious to know what you think is the rarest in the game, because I guess it's kind of a little bit subjective in a sense. But, you know, especially dragons that have only come out once and they came out like over two years ago, they're probably going to be some of the really, really sought after dragons. Like, if there was a trade market for dragons, like in Counter-Strike, when you trade gun skins, for instance, it would probably be a, um... Oh, wait, I thought I was doing the, um... Oh, no, I was doing the low damage, I was gonna say. I thought I was doing it the wrong way around. But, um, I'm sure some of those dragons would probably be worth quite a lot to certain collectors, if that was even a choice, which it's not, and I think that that's a good thing. Because people always say, you know, trading dragons, it'd be such a good idea. 
And I've said it before, I don't think it would work out, because it'd turn into, like, people would start selling rare dragons for real-world money, and, um... When you get to that point, people start scamming, and bad stuff starts happening, so... To stop kids from getting, basically, duped by, uh, older people, I think it's better that we don't have that dragon trading a thing. And I, I just know that people would start charging for giving away certain dragons. I mean, people do it in all sorts of games. People even do it in Pokemon, for goodness sake. And in Pokemon, you know, it's, it's known that a lot of people end up hacking Pokemon in using software that's very easy to get. And people still sell Pokemon on stuff like eBay and things like that, so it's very strange to me. I personally don't get it, but that is what would happen in DML, so... You know, if you wanted trading in DML, just know that, well, I think the idea is cool. I don't personally think there's a good way to implement it. So when you say, Gameloft never listens, they don't want to do anything that we've been suggesting. You know, the trading thing, I think they have good reasons for not doing that. Other stuff, like the habitats being upgraded and all that, definitely is a thing that should happen. But the trading, I don't think is one of those things, personally. Unless you work out some other way to implement it, but I, I, I just don't think there's any way to avoid the eBay selling, Amazon selling, just random, like, DML group selling for stuff, because... I can only imagine how much some of those dragons I mentioned at the beginning would be worth. Like, how do you even consider a price for some dragons that only, like, a couple of hundred people in the world might have? I don't know. I guess that's a good question. I don't know who would evaluate it. Maybe we'd have, like, a, a special trade post for DML where there's, like, mods and that that work out everything. Oh, that that would be cool, I guess. But, oh well. You know, if, another thing that I should probably mention is, obviously, the uh, Dragon's Delight event is coming tomorrow. And actually, I think the sound's a little bit loud. There we go, it's a little bit quieter now. But the new Dragon's Delight event is coming tomorrow, because that will be Thursday. And, uh, I'm not sure what time exactly it's coming out. I don't even know if they've confirmed it yet. But, I want to see if there's been any changes made to the event. But make sure you're on. Make sure that you actually log in for the day. And, uh, try your best to get your hands on both the rock and that blackberry dragon. So don't forget... I always end up saying the same things in videos, and sometimes it's because I know that people will forget otherwise. If I don't mention it 800 times, someone will forget. Oh, my nose. Oh god, I really need to sneeze. Oh, it's like just on the verge. Don't do this to me. Don't you keep me hanging like this. It's such a horrible feeling when you can't finish off a sneeze that you've been prepping to finish. Oh, why'd you have to do this to be body? No, I don't think it's coming now. Ugh, that's so annoying. It's just such a poor feeling. My poor Noz. Ugh. I guess I'll just have to hold on. Maybe I can force myself to sneeze. If I look up, it, I can force myself to sneeze sometimes. But normally it's only when I'm outside. Like, looking at the sun that it works. If I look at a light, it doesn't tend to work. I have no idea why. I've tested it. It's a very weird hypothesis, I know, but for me, apparently, that's what does it. There are many unsolved mysteries in this world, it seems. Many, many unsolved mysteries. But, you know, for now, we'll finish off this fight here. And, um, I do have to say, I spent most of today literally just recording stuff. Uh, I do have two games that I was planning on uploading some videos of. I'm not sure how many people will be interested in them, but I mean, I've, I've done hours worth of recording now. So I think it'd be a waste not to at least upload some of it. So you'll probably end up seeing that soon as well. I did say I was going to be doing some new stuff, so I didn't lie. Certainly did not lie at all. 
So I'm going to keep trying to sort that out for the rest of tonight. And actually, before I head off, I will try and use all of my auto battle tickets on heroic mode, because otherwise I will definitely forget to use them. At least do it for these blue fights, and then I can do the rest at like 11. Because it's currently 9, and as long as I don't waste all of them, that's all I care about. Speaking of which, we are running out of VIP in 15 hours. So just as the Dragon's Delight event starts, we will run out of VIP. Isn't that wonderful? But you know, if we get an easy bracket, maybe we'll just focus on doing the event on our other account. That might be a good idea, actually. Plus, sometimes we plan our Android account on livestream anyway, so we'll probably be doing stuff on that account regardless. But oh well, let's accept this. No way, I'm not going to be accepting a clan invitation. we got our own stuff to deal with. Jeez. Yeah, we've done a decent amount of clan stuff this week, though. That's not too bad. It's good for me, at least. So, for now, guys, I will say thank you very much for watching. And like I said, tell me what dragons you have that are either quite rare, or tell me what you think is the rarest dragon in the game, uh, to your knowledge. Because there might be a dragon I'm forgetting about. I have no idea. There's so many dragons in the game. Don't blame me. But for now... Thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.